Hey, restaurant owners and operators, how are you keeping up with the rising costs in your restaurant? They're going crazy right now. I'm gonna teach you how to do that coming up in this video right now. Hey everybody, Ryan Gronvenier, author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, founder of therestaurantboss.com, clickbacon.com, scalemyrestaurant.com, and like I mentioned, author of the book, Make It Happen, which you can get a free copy of at our website right now. Just head over to therestaurantboss.com and grab yourself a free copy of Make It Happen. So how are you keeping up with the rising costs in your restaurants? Before we get into the content, I want you to watch this video back at our website because we offer some bonus content and some additional content and some free downloads to go along with this video, but you're not gonna get that on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or wherever you're watching this. So somewhere in the description for this video will be a link to take you back to our website directly to this video where you can watch it over there. I also want to warn you a little bit um, this video is a little bit of a bait and switch. Not really, but I definitely want to be upfront and honest that I use the catchy headline, like keeping up with the rising costs in your restaurant to bridge the gap to a topic that is very heavily related to keeping up with the rising costs in your restaurant. But it's more about the costs are happening. There's nothing we can do about that. So what can we do? What we can do is we can innovate. So today's video is really about innovation and how that's gonna help you keep up with the rising costs. Because let's just face it, your costs are going up, your labor costs are going up, your insurance costs are going up, your rent is going up, your maintenance is going up, your utility bills are going up, your cost of goods sold is going up. So you're having to raise your prices. And while I'm not the biggest fan in the world of raising prices, I do understand that you have to raise prices. But if you're going to raise prices, what else are you doing to make sure that your guest expectations are still exceeded? How are you innovating to make your higher prices worth it for them? It's not enough to just say, well, everything is more expensive now, so we're gonna be more expensive. Look, I bet you whatever car you're driving right now, you're not driving a 1970s car. Let's go back 50 years to 1972. If you wanted to get a good, reliable, nice quality car for your family in the 70s, maybe you would have been looking at a Cadillac or something like that. Yeah, I understand that's a little bit on the higher end, but let's use Cadillac as an example. The Cadillac in 1972 was a good car. It was a little expensive, but it was a good car then. The Cadillac today is much more expensive. I don't wanna get into the stats. I did some research myself about the cost of a car in 72 versus the cost of a car today. And honestly, it pretty much has fallen in line with inflation. There's calculators that you can use that track inflation every year and then figure out what the price, you enter the price of something then and the price of it today and it, or it tells you what it should be today. And honestly, they're pretty similar. So cars have not outpaced inflation. Cars have kept up with inflation but you get a better car today. Could you imagine, would you go to the dealership and spend $80,000 or $50,000 on a car today that was the same as 1972? Had a manual transmission or a gear shifter on the column? No digital readouts? Had a tape player with an AM radio? Had no GPS? Had no auto steering? No lane assist? had no Bluetooth, was still a carbureted engine, not fuel injected, didn't have uh, automatic windows that came down, you couldn't adjust your seats. Would you spend 40, $20,000 on that car today? Of course not. So yes, cars got more expensive, but there's been innovations along the way that have made them better cars. So while the prices are going up in your restaurant, what are you innovating? How is your restaurant better today than it was 20 years ago or five years ago, or dare I say, last year? That's the attitude we have to adopt. We have to adopt a startup mentality. Most businesses have a lifespan of about 20 years. 
Think about IBM. IBM was the most cutting edge computer company in the 60s and 70s. Now they're a services company. They were able to change, but they're not what they were. Hewlett Packard was the most innovative technology company in the 80s. Now they don't exist. I mean, they do, but it's very different. They're just a commodity player. They're not cutting edge like they were. Compaq Computers in the late 90s was one of the largest and most successful computer companies. They don't exist anymore because they weren't able to innovate when things around them changed. The CEO of Cisco, not Cisco Foods, Cisco Systems, the technology company, John Chambers, well, the ex-CEO, John Chambers had a mentality, a theory that every 18 months, his company had to either double the speed of the processor of a microchip or cut its size in half. They had to either double the size of a processor or cut it in half. By cutting it in half, they could add twice as much memory to it in the same amount of space. And by adding twice as much memory, they could speed it up. But again, I don't want to get into the com complexities of that. The point is they knew that if all they did was produce the same microchip or made incremental changes to it, someone else would come along and take over the marketplace. And that is what's going to happen in this new economy as your restaurant prices go up if you don't innovate. Because right now there are people who have a startup mentality. I'm working with restaurant owners right now that we are developing concepts for this new economy. And when those new concepts open, they will take market share. They will take your market share. These are the disruptor restaurants. We're already seeing it with ghost kitchens and other things like that. But there are some new concepts that other people are working on that I'm reading about that we're working on that are going to disrupt the way that business is done. You saw it at Uber. You saw it at Airbnb or VRBO. You saw it with Netflix against Blockbuster. There's no more Blockbuster videos. There's no more taxis. Hotels are dying. All because of disruptors, because of the startup mentality. Blockbuster could have done what Netflix did, but they didn't think they had to. They didn't want to invest in the technology. Taxi cabs could have done what Uber did, but they didn't think they had to. They didn't want to invest in the technology. Hotels could set up their systems on Airbnb and VRBO, but they don't want to. They want to hold on to what they're doing and potentially they're going to die because of it. Don't let your restaurant pop a gravestone up and be listed in the graveyard. Don't let your restaurant fall six feet under. If you are raising prices, you also have to be innovating. Now, if you're interested in learning more about this, yesterday I did a training for the Restaurant Boss members where we studied the seven steps to innovations that CEOs like Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos, John Chambers, and other amazing leaders of companies use to continually be innovating and keep their companies at the top of their game. If you want to join our membership so you can go back and watch that video as well as all the other trainings in the membership, get access to scale, get access to Ghost Kitchen Bootcamp, get access to Restaurant Manager Certification, and then every month get access to a new training plus a live one-on-one, -on -one, or not one-on-one, -on -one, but a live Q&A session where you can ask me questions one-on-one -on -one and I'll answer them for you, check out the Restaurant Boss membership There'll be a link below this video or just go to therestaurantboss.com slash membership and learn more about how you can get access to that. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I hope you're not mad at me for sort of switching the topic here to a topic of innovation, but I know how important it is for you. And remember, systems create freedom. Freedom creates value. Value creates scale. I love every single one of you crazy restaurant people. And I'll see you next week with another great video just like this. Bye-bye. If you want to learn to play the guitar, you'd hire a coach. If you want to learn to swing a golf club, you'd hire a coach. A great coach helps you achieve your goals faster. So why would you try to grow your restaurant without a coach? Getting access to our top quality training was financially out of reach for many restaurants until now. The Restaurant Boss membership gives you access to all of the training, resources, coaching, and webinars you need to properly increase your profits, improve your operations, and grow for less than a cup of coffee a day. 
Plus, when you join our membership program, you can work with me weekly. We call it Rocket Fuel, and I bet you can guess why. Are you ready to create real change in your restaurant? Join the Restaurant Boss family today. I hope you enjoyed this week's training video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you go ahead and smash the like button right up there so you can get notified every week when we release a new free training video. I've also gone ahead and put a couple of videos for you here and here that I think you're going to enjoy. Remember, systems create freedom. Freedom creates value and value creates scale. Manage systems, develop people, and be awesome.